Hey guys, welcome back to Detox. Again, I've got Ivan LaCroix of Optimum Polymer Technologies. Thanks for having me, Levi. Hanging out in my shop. Welcome, buddy. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Always a pleasure. So today, we're going to talk about uh, some kind of life hacks or detailing tricks. Um, time savers. Things that... Time savers, product savers. Product savers. Uh, a lot of people don't realize if you're not doing the job right, you waste so much product. Yeah. And I know from managing different shops and working for different shops and running my own shop here, like product waste is can be insane. Yeah. Um, and product waste wastes time. Right. As well. And yeah, and then your your hourly rates and all that stuff. It just it. So we're gonna teach you some little time savers, some tricks, some tips. Yep. And uh, hopefully save you guys some money, which makes everybody happy. Makes me happy. Uh, me too. I like saving money. <laughs> Saving for retirement. That's what I mean. Aha, there you so, go. Yeah. So one of the little things I teach always is grab a video camera, set it up in the corner of the shop, and let it run all day. And then sit down, big bowl of popcorn, because it's going to be an eight-hour film, and watch it with someone who's not into detailing at all. Get Very them smart. to pick up where you're wasting time. Hey, why are you walking back and forth to that shelf every five minutes? Right. You should have a detailer's helper belt. You should have a cart nearby. You should not be moving back and forth around the car 40 times. Right. So, yeah. you should saving have steps. Everything with you. Yeah. Now, we just saw your employee came in here. <laughs> he did. Four while times. We were, while we were shooting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just came in here four times to get two products. Right. Yeah. And he has a cart and a detailer's helper belt on as he's out there. So yeah. I've done those things. Yeah. I also have cameras mounted in the shop for security purposes, but also so that I can watch my guys see yeah. that. And there are evenings where I'll go down and look and be doing laps around the car, and I don't know if he's racing a mouse or what. Yeah. But, um, no. And those are things that, and if you point that out to an employee, uh, generally they'll be happy because they're saving steps too. Yeah, you know, and if they save steps, they get through a car faster. They make more money. It just kind of works out a lot yeah. better for everybody. So, you know, that's one other thing. And then the cart, the detailer's helper belt. You don't need everything on the cart. You just need everything you need for that job. Right. Uh, Especially you know, if you break it into steps. Right. You know, I have uh, in my shops guys that specialize in interiors. Yep. They don't have compound and polish on their cart. They don't need it. They're doing interiors. But the guys that are doing polishing, they don't have... In, interior you know, cleaners. Yeah, they don't have interior cleaners because they're not touching the inside of the cart. Mm -hmm. So have product-specific or job-specific items on the cart or in your detailer's helper belt mm -hmm. if you're mobile. If you're mobile, there's a lot of time necessary for setup and teardown. Right. So make your, your, deep, your mobile unit efficient in set up and tear down. Uh, That's one of my uh, uh, guilty pleasures, so to speak, is yeah. to see um, on Facebook some of the detailers that are mobile yeah. and seeing the setups of their vans. Right. I really get a big kick out of how perfect their setups are on that way they have everything right there. They yeah. literally have their whole mobile shop. Every once in a while you see the guys that it's just a wreck. And <laughs> yeah. I understand my shop's a wreck. Uh, so, but. I really get a kick out of seeing some of the, there yeah. are some beautiful vans. Yeah, and there's some people I've trained, uh, you know, they're, before training, uh, their setup was great. And it was just a few little tweaks, but they have just little, uh, not carts, but totes yeah. that have in the interior tote and the polishing tote and the exterior cleaning tote and the decontamination tote. And they can just go to the van, grab the tote, everything they need is right. in that tote. And that's another thing that a lot of mobile detailers do, and shop owners as well. You don't need to have 55 gallon drums of product with you all the time. Right. Now, how much do you need for a week? Five gallons, maybe, if that. Uh, yeah. You know, and stuff like O&R, one yeah. gallon will probably do you a month. Yep. So, yep. Uh, you don't need to stock a big inventory. Right. So, and that's another thing, you know, it's a, especially the guys that like to follow the latest and greatest trends. Right, waste of money on everything that comes out and testing it. That is yeah. fun, and that can be, you know, that may be something that you enjoy doing. It's a little guilty pleasure. Yeah, that's totally fine. But you don't have to spend $150 on all these extra 10 or 15 different polishes every month that come out to do that. Maybe spend 20 bucks on one of those wax on the. the 
detail boxes or yeah uh, one of those that that you know you get a small sample of a couple little products and you know that way you're always up on it but you're not buying gallons of a product that yeah. you may not like yeah and exactly. you've got a gallon of product that you just have yeah and you may and, never use you know networking if you have detailers in your area other detailers in your area right. and you know i use optimum products i have another guy in my town that uses almost all hd products yep well, I'll try his products out and he'll try mine. Right. And I don't have to buy anything. He doesn't have to buy anything. We get along great. Yeah. So we try to, we get to try different things out without having to spend any money. Yep. And sometimes he'll switch a product because, oh, this actually works. Right. You know, I haven't used any HD products in my shops yet because I still find the Optimum works more efficiently for what we do. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, that's my own little idiosyncrasy. Yeah. But uh, well, and that's it's same here. We do. Uh, we used uh, a number of different products for a number of years. They all came from the same line, but um, once we were able to focus on the line that we liked the best, and all joking aside, we do use the full Optimum <laughs> line. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> Having that line for my employees just to work from, instead of having five different polishes or five different compounds, we only have two polishes and one compound. Right. And it streamlined the process. And it also saved us having O and R, it, that's a huge time saver in yeah. and of itself for glass, for interior cleaning, um, carpet, we use it in our carpet extractor. Yeah. And our steamers. And that's what we use now. We don't use exactly carpet soap or yeah. shampoo and, and things like that. So And in the pad washer and in the yeah, there's a, a lot of uses for O and R. Right. You know, it's not good on cereal. And and you don't even if you don't use the whole line of optimum products, no, no. having a product like O and R as your kind of uh, backbone, so to right. speak, for your pro for, for your shop really works helps a, a lot. Yeah. Um, because I like being able to clean the windows, and if it gets on the paint, I'm not damaging the paint because I'm not using an ammonia-based window cleaner anymore. Right. I'm using O&R, and O&R and is safe for paint and the plastics and all that. Yeah, so. and if you happen to put your LSP on, or last step product, uh, before doing the windows, and right. you get O&R on &R it, no big deal. Right. But an ammonia-based, ooh, you might have a little streak there. Right, and you may have to re-wax that panel now because yeah. you just eradicated all of that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's that, and then air. Air. Can't stress mm -hmm. it enough. If you don't detail with air, you are killing yourself. Uh, I mean, it is, it's the easiest, it saves you so much time. Yeah. You, uh, you know, you can blow out an entire car, you don't have to vacuum first. Right. You can blow all the crap out of the You can get into carpets and cracks, and cracks and crevices that you could never get into with a vacuum no, cleaner or an extractor. Yeah. Well, and there are some guys that I see will still pull a seat to get under that. I don't pull seats here. That's no. just, that's not part of our shop. It's not what we do. Um, there are a lot of guys that do, and they can get paid for it, and that's fine. But I don't run that type of shop. Exactly. But I have a really good ability with my air and my shampoos and my steamers. I can get literally all the every single square inch of carpet under yeah. that seat. Exactly. Because of the air. And usually under a seat, there's just dust. Yeah. Yeah. May, it's you know, never may, that bad. Maybe the odd fry, but something like that. Every once in a while, <laughs> yeah. you get some repos that are pretty bad. Yeah. So. But you know, there's not, there's no real need to be removing the seat. Right. For most, you know, 99% of you. Exactly. You know, there is that odd one that, there's always an exception to every rule. Uh, another thing is, don't be afraid of new technologies. You mm -hmm. know, I do a lot of work with O and R. I do a lot of training, and people resist O and R because they've been using soap. Well, right. Ben Hur washed his chariot with soap before the races. And, you know, <laughs> it's sort of an old technology. It's been around the it's been around the block many yeah. times. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. It works. It works. But there's a lot of things that work better. Yeah. You know, do you sit down with your bowl of popcorn, pop your Blu-ray disc in, and turn your 12-inch black and white TV on to watch it? No. Right. You fire up the flat screen. Yeah. Because, hey, you've adopted a new technology. Yeah. You know, yeah. people can do it everywhere except for car care, it yeah. seems. We're, we, we don't all have rotary phones anymore. We've <laughs> no. all got smartphones or a cell phone, at least. Yeah, exactly. You know. So, and so don't be afraid to try new techniques, new technologies that can save time. Yeah. You know, I've had people comment that, oh, it can't be good because it only took you half an hour to do the job. Right. No. Well, <laughs> yeah, and it, it is, first time I tried it, it was, uh, I, I was surprised that it, that one, that it did everything it was supposed to do. Yeah. It worked. But second, I was mad at myself that I had spent the previous 15 years <laughs> not, using, not it. using it and going like, what have I been doing my whole life? Like, I wasted so much time. Yeah.
that that was a big deal for me. But. Yeah, and other little things. Uh, I use a two bucket method in my shop. One bucket on either side of the car. Uh, you know, having duplication in certain items is a big time saver. Yes. So in our wash bay, we have airlines on either side of the car. Yep. We have pressure washer guns on either side of the car. We have buckets on either side of the car. Towels. Everything. Right. Everything is duplicated. Yeah. So either one employee can do it or two employees can do it. That way, it's a much easier, faster system. There's never a line or a hose going over top of the mm -hmm. car. Yep. And if it's one person, a team of one, two, or four working on the vehicle, it just gets done faster that way. Yeah. And having an extra bucket isn't an expense. No. You know, buckets are what? Six bucks? Yep. Uh, Dollies, putting them on a dolly yeah. makes a big difference. Yeah. We train our buckets to follow the employees. It takes about three weeks to get the to get the bucket to follow the employee everywhere he goes. But eventually, you know, it does. Yeah. And uh, there's some really good bucket dollies out there. There's some really bad bucket dollies. So do a bit of research. Uh, the larger, the bigger the wheel, usually the better it is. Because if you're looking at a floor system like this, yeah. a little two-inch wheel gets caught up a lot. Yeah. Get to a three-inch wheel, ooh. It just rolls right over. Yeah. No problem. Another thing that should be rolling around is you. Yeah. Uh, there's one product out there, and I'll actually mention the name. It's a little expensive. It's called a Rack Attack. It's, it's a one bicycle I would love seat. to get. Yeah. Bicycle seat, two knee pads. Looks funny, but it's ergonomically correct. Uh, unlike those, you know, chair, those stools that everybody has. Right. Which is basically one of these, but on casters. Yeah. Uh, and you can see we're slumping over a little yeah. bit. And, you know, after we've done a couple of these, we're like, oh. Yeah. So anyways, the, the rack attack, a lot more comfortable, gets you lower. And the wheels are large enough that you can roll around even on a floor like this. And you're not going to get caught up. And the rack attack also helps when doing interiors. Mm -hmm. uh, in my shops, we have the rack attacks, we also have scissor lifts. Now people think the scissor lifts, oh great for paint correction. Yeah, it's good for paint correction, even better for interiors. We always do that with lifted trucks. When yeah. we get a big lifted truck, we're all like, oh man, this is so much easier to shampoo the carpets. And yeah. Get under the seat, look how much we can get under these seats. And yeah, exactly. It's great. So that's a, another little thing. Uh, be prepared for what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Have a plan of action. Yeah, uh, in my shop we have a process, and the process is the same for every single car. Right. It only deviates just based on the package, yeah. but every interior is done exactly the same. Uh, every wax job is done exactly the same. Yeah. Uh, and all my guys learn it, so that way if someone has to jump on and help somebody, they just have to look and they know exactly what step they're on, yeah. and they know what the next step is. Yeah. So if they're doing windows, they know they need to be uh, working on the exterior or touching, you know, exactly doing a final step or vacuuming or they, they know what the next step is. Having a standard operating procedure. Exactly. That helps, saves helps everyone. so much time. Yeah. Uh, other little things. If you have grit guards, cut an inch off the bottom of them. Uh, Smart. They go deeper into the bucket, you waste less product. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're using soap, sometimes you need to rub against the grit guard, so you want it you want it as designed. Yeah. If you're using O&R, you never actually rub up against the grit guard. Yeah. It's just there to protect the sponge or your wash media from getting to the bottom. Right. So you can shorten it down, you'll use less product. Save you, a little you, more yeah, money. Exactly. Yeah. So. One, one little trick that I have been trying to teach my guys that uh, Matt Ward uses, yep. and one thing he loves doing, and it's funny, it's something he came up on his own, and I'm sure there's a ton of detailers that possibly do this, but when he's shampooing a carpet of a car, yeah. he takes a towel with him, and while he's shampooing it, he will spray, now we use uh, O&R in our extractor, yeah. he'll spray hot O&R yeah. onto his towel, and after he's done shampooing the carpets and the seats, in yeah. that quadrant of the vehicle, he will take that damp towel and he will wipe and clean the headliner yeah. with his dampened O&R rag. Right. And he kills that, uh, the two birds with one stone, so to speak. He gets yeah. his carpets and his upholstery extracted, as well as he's got a towel to wipe up any excess overspray. Yep. that he gets, but he can also clean his headliner. And that's something that I try and teach <laughs> many of my guys to, to, to get on and stay on. And I myself am guilty of it as well. I don't, yeah. don't do it as much as I should. No. But um, that's one thing that it just blows me away when I watch him do it. He can get three things done basically yeah. at once. Exactly. And, um, so if you have any more ideas or... We have lots, but we need to save uh, things for other, yeah. other well, segments too. So. If you have any more little tips, little tricks, little life hacks for us, please comment 
below for us uh, so we can do more of these. Or you can help out some of the other detailers that are watching this, uh, you know, let us know. Put it in the, put it in the comments section and uh, we'll make sure we, uh, we uh, notify everybody and get all that in there so people can see it. Uh, so again, Ivan, thanks for coming. Always a pleasure. All the way from Canada to come yep. hang out with us here in Boise, Idaho. So, uh, thanks for watching Detox. Remember, guys, email me at levi at theragcompany.com. Check us out, the Rag Company YouTube channel. Uh, make sure you subscribe and go to the website, ragcompany.com. Thanks for watching.